Guitar Chimp, and today we've got a Gibson Ripper Bass. Uh, I'm not sure what the year is off the top of my head, but I will not look because it's a six digit serial number and I don't know off the top of my head. I think it's probably 79, maybe an 80. Uh, the, the title and the description will, uh, will be accurate. Uh, yeah, it's got, uh, I believe it's got, it's got three knobs. I'm not sure if it's volume, bass, and treble, or if it's volume, volume, treble, but it's got three knobs. They all work, and it's got this four-way selector. Uh, they all work. Let's uh, let's dig in and um, and see and see what this thing can do. Let's try the next one. about the bass um i have the action on the low e set to 764 at the 12th fret which is slightly higher than i would normally set it um that's why i'm playing with a pick uh great for playing with a pick if you're playing with your fingers it's gonna seem a little bit higher um but the bridge won't go any lower on this and that's pretty normal uh for these gibson ripper basses Normal action is set to 664 typically, uh, so it's like slightly, slightly higher, which is perfect for playing on a pick. You can just really pound into this. Now that you've heard me play this thing, let's get up close and check out the condition. I gave this bass a seven and a half out of 10. It's got scratches, dings. It's got a little bit of wear in the back. Um, I mean, it's a ripper from the seventies. Hey, let's get up close and check it out. Uh, just right off the bat, you can see your light scratches on that guard. And we've got some dings going on there. Yeah, you can see the dings up there. Yeah, it looks like knobs are original. Uh, it looks like the screws are not original. This should be Phillips and not flathead. But I don't that's not a big deal. Okay, let's get down down here. You can just see various scratches and little dings. Got some pretty good dings there. Okay, we'll scroll through here. And you can just kind of see the various small dings and scratches throughout. Maple fingerboard. The frets look pretty good. They've got just like a little bit of tarnish on them. Um, they've definitely been worked on. Um, this is, you can tell that this has had fret work on it, which is good. So, uh, front of the headstock, 
Got some scratches and dings. Let's flip this thing over. And let's get that headstock. 509233, there's your Made in USA. Back of the headstock looks good. It's got a giant volute on that thing, so you got that extra support. <laughs> Okay, back of the neck. It's got some dings on there, but I mean, hey, overall, like I said, looks pretty good. Let's get the back of the base. You know, we've got our scratches, dings, wear on the back. We'll keep scrolling through. There's the rest of the dings that we showed on the front. And let's get up close so we can see. Cool. We'll scroll through there. Yeah, like I said, just various scratches, dings, wear in the back. Pretty normal for a ripper though. All right, there you have it.